guys, this is Dow Phoenix and Capcom presents Capcom's Gold Medal Challenge 92. So, yes, there is more than just track and field on the NES. There is this as well. Uh, so, it's got a similar kind of format to it, but it's Capcom instead of Konami, which is kind of funny because they competed against each other. But automatically, you'll notice we have a couple more countries to choose from. Uh, but Russia is missing. So... Anyways, no great USA versus USSR events, but we got these modes here. Here's a bunch of dash m modes here. Relay, hurdles, jump. Um, so you can see there's a little bit bigger selection of games that you have in this one. Uh, we'll just check out a basic one like the 100 meter just to get started here. So uh, there we go. Not sure how exactly how this is supposed to work. So, the World USA record is 9.83 according to this. And by the way, Keiji Unifune designed this one. Okay, whoops. Not really sure. I guess you just alternate the button presses. Yeah. Yeah, I totally sucked. I didn't know you can do that early start thing, because, like, track and field, it punished you when you try to do that shit. But this one's like, oh, go ahead, early start all you want, man. That's cool. So we got blown away there. Um, but that's 100 meter dash. I mean, everybody's seen that crap. Let's check out the hurdles and see how those vary. I'm assuming we still rapidly tap, but uh, probably hit up to jump or some crap like that. Let's see how it goes. Here we go. It's so, uh, us versus Canada. Suck it, Canada. Yep. Suck it, Canada. Tripping the hurdles, baby. America all the way. America. Crap. We lost. <laughs> oh, no. Canadians win again. Ah. <laughs> My momentum got all jacked up, man. That sucks. <laughs> it's funny, though. The Canadian's, like, all out of breath, and that guy's like, yeah, I'm good. But then I'm, like, crying while he's like, woo! All right, can Canada beat, beat us there, too. Uh, what's this 4x100 meter relay? I mean, that's got to be a little bit different from the other ones, so... What makes it different, I do wonder. I mean, obviously, I'm assuming we toss flags to our fellow partners and whatnot there. So we're going against France here in this one. I gotta press forward? That's stupid, man. I miss holding turbo, because screw this. I'm not gonna catch up to this, man. So you gotta press like the directional button to uh, pass the staff along, I would assume. Yeah, there's just no way, man. That's ridiculous. Ah, oh, man, this is a terrible one, dude. Just taking my time with it, because that's called carpal tunner, copper tunner. Carpal Tunnel Creator. That's what I call that, man, because that's going to ruin and wreck your wrist. Wow. So let's go stop doing these running ones. They suck anyways. Uh, let's check out the uh, shot putt in this one. I don't know if we had a shot putt in the other games, so uh, that'll be interesting to do. Okay. Yeah, music's kind of lazy in this one. That's hilarious! He just face planted there for no reason. I, I pressed right on the D-pad, so it wasn't like no reason, but... <laughs> what am 
I supposed to do? I guess it's because I didn't have my angle up at all, so he's like, oh, I'm just gonna take a dirt nap on this uh, grass here. Why not? That sounds good to me. So maybe we'll have to pull back into the left or something like that, I would assume. I have no freaking idea, man. I mean, how many buttons do you have on the NES controller? Four? Plus the D-pad? How many combinations of things can there really be, you know? Yeah. Screw Shot Putt. Shot Putt was always a stupid Olympic sport. He was... See how far you can throw a giant lead ball. <laughs> That's not really a sport. That's just a contest of strength. So let's do the uh, 100 meter freestyle. So far, this one's a lot shittier than uh, Track and Field 2. It just doesn't have the same vibe, and it's, it's a lot more button mashy. Not to say that that game wasn't, but like it seemed like that game had a little bit more going on than just button mashing is what I'm trying to point out here. Okay. Why do I have no speed? Why am I stuck here? What is my character doing? What is this? I don't understand. Oh, it's synchronized by timing. It's not rapidly button mashing. Okay, gotcha. And I just drowned, I guess. Is somebody gonna rescue my swimmer? <laughs> I don't understand how they're swimming so fast and not running out of oxygen. What are they doing so special? Yeah, this one was just stupid, man. I, although it is pretty funny that you can have your character drown. That's pretty nice. But Romania kicked USA's ass completely because... Oh, okay, I get it now. So you pull back on the D-pad, and that's where you pull up for air, but you go slower. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha. That was a stupid one, though, man. So the swimming mini game is even worse than the uh, track and field one, which wasn't that great to begin with. Um, let's see. So we've got weightlifting. Let's check it out. Something tells me it's gonna be some kind of insane button mash. Gotta get 160 kilograms. So here we go. Whoa! I thought I was on the line! Ugh. Dude, this one just sucks. This is a... I had more fun playing the Atari uh, one, I think. Well, maybe... No, that's a little extreme. <laughs> that's just a little bit extreme. But I definitely had more fun with the old school uh, track and field from 83. Okay. Even though I couldn't get very far in it. Alright, come on, baby. Get in there. Why did you not pick it up? Oh, it's because KG Inafune designed this game. That's right. Concept. More like concept. Ha oh, that's a terrible pun, actually. <laughs> 
<laughs> but, uh, yeah. So we gotta do 160 minimum. I don't know if rapidly tapping is gonna make a difference. It looks like it does. Did it! Son of a... You gotta hold a, a button in while rapidly tapping that shit. Okay. So... That's pretty interesting. Let's try the vaulting horse. That'll be the last one we'll cover here, because we've already looked at the other shit. I have no idea what this is even supposed to be. But let's see what we got here. Oh, it's this one. I forget. It's a, it's a gymnastic thing. Okay. It's kind of cool they have a gymnastic one here, but... I, I... I don't know, man. Konami, you done goofed. This is probably why you guys haven't made any more Olympic video games, because... Because this one was terrible, and uh, everybody knew it. So, uh... Here we go! Power to the people! How do you get more leap? Let's try it one more time here. And then we'll wrap it up. Of course, you press B and it exits the game. Oh... All right, come on! I at least touched it this time, so that's good, I suppose. But yeah, that's just... This one's just a total loss. Um, I mean, the Atari ones we covered are worse, but... This one's right alongside them, man. Actually, you know what? I'll give it one last chance. We'll see how it does in the Javelin Throw, because the Javelin Throw kind of sucked in track and field. Let's see if this game does it better, though. So, let's see how this game does the javelin throw. Okay. Okay, um... Where was the line even at? <laughs> Something tells me this javelin throw is not very good. Plus, I have to get 71 meters even qualifying. Track and field wasn't that strict on it. Holy crap, that's a pretty good throw, it looks like. Actually, it's a shitty throw. So even your javelin throw sucks, Capcom. We'll give you one last try, now that I know kind of the gimmick here. Would be nice if you had like a better indicator of where you can stop running at, though. All right, come on, here we go, people. Get that running in. See so a 55 degree here in there, and maybe that's, oh, that's gonna be a beautiful one, I think. No, actually... Wow. What do you really want from us people? Like, why is it that a game developer can't program a good javelin throw video game? Is it really that difficult? I mean, we haven't ran into one yet. Maybe with some of the other games we'll cover, we'll see. But, uh, yeah, this one's a bust, people. So, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the uh, Retro Olympics that we've been covering so far. Uh, I'd like to thank you guys very much for tuning in, and don't forget to check out the other videos and tell me about the Olympic games you guys have been playing. But till then, Dow Phoenix out.